Alright, so over the last three years being a student, I've tried all sorts of money tracking magic spreadsheets and apps. They just don't work for me. Tracking money is cool for the first week and then my brain just gives up on budgeting. It's too much friction and boring AF. So I refined a system of my own that has one core idea behind it make it easy. And for me, it works. I'm able to see what I spend each month and how much money I have left with barely any effort. Level 1. Apple Notes or any other notes app on your phone. I just create two notes. One note has a blank table with the month on the left and the other one is just a blank note. I basically have these two notes pinned so I can immediately access them later. The way my budget works is at the top of the blank note I just type in bold what my income is for the month. Basically what I'm allowed to spend. Then I add a few dashes here and whenever I buy something, it doesn't matter what it is, I immediately Immediately just standing in the middle of the store, pull out notes and write down the price and what I spent it on. It usually looks like this. I do this every single time I buy something. My first instinct is to just go to notes and write it down. And it takes two seconds since I always use my phone to pay. I think having to input the actual amount by hand is better than having an app that just looks at your bank account and does it for you. Why? Because if you have an app that does it for you then you can just ignore it until the end of the month, feel guilty for one day and then continue spending. I found that my method works a lot better for me since I force myself to see every dollar that I spend immediately after the purchase. And so the other note with the table is basically just a summary of each month. I set a reminder at the last day of every month to add up my spending. It takes max 10 minutes to do and the great thing is that I don't have to use a computer. Everything here on my phone. I put down how much I made and how much I spent in total or sometimes I split it up into categories. Then just count up the total. My goal is to never ever go below zero. Sometimes I fail at that, of course. Level 1 is meant to be as easy as possible to build up the habit of tracking my finances. If two notes are too much for you, just do one. Make it ridiculously easy. As long as you track something, it's great. Because what gets measured gets improved. Now, speaking of improving things, have you ever heard of Listly? They're sponsoring this segment of the video. Listly is a browser extension that lets you scrape data from websites and export it into Google Docs or Excel without having to use any code or know anything about data scraping. Listly Whole scrapes the entire web page and shows you what was gathered on their data portal. Listly Part does the same but scrapes segmented parts of the web page that contain only the information you want. For example, only the stock data from this website. Oh, and you can use most of its features completely for free to scrape as many websites as you want, with the ability to pay for embedded features if you need them later. Moving on. Level 2. Google Sheets or Excel. Once you're comfortable with level 1 and you need more features, you can move over to Google Sheets or Excel. So instead of having the second note at the end of the month, you can just plug your expenses into your sheet which has a lot more powerful features to show you summaries, charts and comparisons by category. The way I would upgrade to level 2 is again to start off super simple and then work my way up from there if I want to add any extra features. To make it easy, just go to sheets.google.com and choose the annual budget. In here, just put how much money you have right now and just forget about this first tab forever. Just move it away. Now in the expenses tab, there are gonna be a a lot of them so you can either collapse these groups and not use them or what I like to do is just hold shift, select the ones that I know I will never need, right click and delete rows. You can also delete entire categories. This is how it looks like after it's tidied up. Just a heads up, instead of adding your own categories, it's a lot easier to rename existing ones that you won't need to not screw up the spreadsheet. So once I have this nice and tidy, I will come here at the end 
end of the month with my note from level 1 and just input everything into their categories. Pro tip, instead of adding stuff yourself, just type equals at the top and then plus and enter in the amount. Google Sheets will automatically calculate everything and then after entering my income, I can go to summary and see how much I saved this month and how much money I have left over in total. If this is too complicado, you can create your own simple budget template. Create new sheet. Put category, income, category, expense. Select first row, go to view, freeze, one row. Now when you scroll, this will stay at the top. Right click on the first category cell and press drop down. Here create the categories for your income. This can be edited later. Do the same for the expense categories. Select the right corner and drag everything down. Now when you add a new expense, you'll be able to select the category. Over to the side, write down total income, total expenses and savings. Click the total income, write equals, sum, open bracket and select the income row without the word income. Do exactly the same but with the expense column. And for savings, write equal, click the income cell, minus, click expense cell. Name this template at the bottom, then right click and duplicate. Now name it after the current month and year. This will be your simple monthly budget. I've added some more goodies into this sheet, such as being able to see total expenses of each category. I will leave a link for this template in the description. Just enter zero in the price field and you'll download it for free. Also, if you're enjoying this video so far, I'm I'm sure that you'll enjoy my free email productivity newsletter. I send it out once a month with a tip, some cool websites I discovered, or inspiring quotes from a financial book I'm reading. You can read it completely for free in the description or subscribe to it by entering your email and you'll get it completely for free every month inside your inbox. I hope this was helpful to someone out there and I'll see you in the next one.